All right, we are back with the chest region additive diseases. And so anything in the additive chest um, kind of category is when there's addition of fluid or infection in an area where it's not supposed to be, right? So we know atelectasis is your partial or complete lung collapse that involves a blockage. The bronchiectasis is when the bronchi are thickened, usually from infection or inflammation. Cardiomegaly is your enlargement of the heart. CHF, when they're in heart failure, there's a failure to pump and then fluid will collect. Pleural effusion is fluid in the pleural space, right, around the lungs, which they're not supposed to be, it's supposed to be air. Um, hemothorax is blood, again, in that pleural space, making it heavier, more dense. Pneumonia will have an infection in the lung. The pneumoconosis, I always mess up that word, sorry again. But that is when um, there's inhalation of dust and they have a lot of coughing, inflammation, and fibrosis. And then TB or tuberculosis is an infection in the lung and then grows nodules. So again, anything on this additive list you would want to um, increase your technique for because it's um, most likely fluid or infection, or infection making the part um, more dense. And then, so this was just sort of a quick review of radiolucent versus radiopaque. And this again is involved with density. So increase in density, your barium is a higher um, atomic number, higher density, so it show up white versus your air, which is black. So like your chest x-ray, it's supposed to, the lungs are supposed to be filled with air. It's supposed to be black. When um, fluid is involved, it's going to be more dense. So just remembering those terms, that was just a quick review of the terms. Let's go through some images here. All right. So for this first image here, this is your pleural effusion. How do we know? Well, the lung usually has a rounded appearance to it. You're not seeing air all the way down to a claustrophrenic angle, which is your little triangle right at the end. And it's white in color or like a grayish color. So this is fluid in the pleural space. It is not fluid in the lung. Fluid in the pleural space. Remember, the pleural cavity surrounds the lung, so it's not fluid inside the lung. It's fluid around it. But this is going to make this area more dense than normal. So this is an additive. Pneumonia is usually in kind of a lobe location. This is an infection or pus collection um, right here. So that's pneumonia. Atelectasis, remember, is your partial or complete collapse of lung, but it's due usually to blockage. So this is atelectasis of one of the lobes. It's not a full collapse. It's just um, one of the areas, so partial. Chemothorax. With, was our um, blood in the pleural space. Again, it's fluid. It's going to be more dense. So we're not going to see the black of air. It's going to be a lot more um, fluid hang in there. The um, bronchiectasis, you can see the bronchioles have thickened and are more dense. Cardiomegaly, if you look at the size of the heart in this chest, it's the mediastinum is very wide. It's coming way out here to the side, so enlarged heart. And, oh, sorry about that. CHF, um, there's a failure to pump. Again, the heart's going to look enlarged, and we're going to see some fluid collection. The claustrophrenic angles are starting to be rounded. There's, they're not nice pointy triangles like they're supposed to be. And then the tuberculosis is going to involve some growths, and they tend to be up here in the upper area of the lung, which is why we do that lordotic chest, right, looking at the, um, the apices. All right, I'll be back for destructive.